Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. Afzal asks, would be great if you did a video on how you can use these Asia miles from the East Coast. Thanks. Thanks for asking that question, Afzal. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover four sweet spots using the Asia miles program from the East Coast of Canada. And that video is going to come up right now. Now, before I start this video, I know someone's going to nitpick and be like, Oh, you're wrong. The East Coast of Canada is not Toronto. It's actually Newfoundland and New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. So for those people who like to nitpick and whatnot, you know, please get a life. Everyone knows when you mention the East Coast of Canada, it's really Toronto and Montreal. Okay. Now I'm not hating on the rest of the Canadian provinces. I'm just saying from a flight perspective, you're probably gonna be flying out of Toronto and Montreal if you live in the East Coast of Canada. Now, before I talk about the four Asia Mile sweet spots from the East Coast of Canada, you'll probably notice that there is a pattern when I talk about them. And that pattern is that a lot of these flights are connecting from Hong Kong. And the reason for that is because the Asia Miles program is with Cathay Pacific and their home airport is in Hong Kong. The first sweet spot on this list is a flight going from Toronto to Hong Kong all the way to Sydney, Australia. This flight is gonna be with Cathay Pacific and for 85,000 miles on business class, this is a very good sweet spot that you can use with your Asia Miles. The second sweet spot that you can use with the Asia Miles program if you live in the East Coast of Canada is very similar to the first one and that is a flight going from Toronto all the way to Hong Kong and ending in New Zealand in Auckland. Again, you're gonna be flying on Cathay Pacific on business class and that is gonna cost you 85,000 Asia miles. The third sweet spot from the east coast of Canada is a flight using your Asia miles going from Toronto all the way to Hong Kong and ending in Johannesburg in South Africa. This flight again is on Cathay Pacific and it's gonna cost you 85,000 Asia miles on business class and because this is such a long flight, this really maximizes the value of those points. The fourth sweet spot is very interesting because it's not flying on Cathay Pacific. This sweet spot is also only good on your flight back to Toronto if you have traveled to Asia. This sweet spot will take you starting from Haneda in Tokyo, going all the way to Doha in Qatar and ending in Montreal. You will be flying on the Qatar Airways business class flight, which is very famous. And this is gonna cost you 90,000 Asia miles to redeem on business. Now, the reason why you wanna fly this going from Japan to Qatar and back to Canada in Montreal is because if you start your flight from Japan, then you are not gonna get charged that crazy amount of fuel surcharge. If you start from Montreal, there is gonna be that hefty fuel surcharge that's gonna cost you at least $500 or more. So to avoid paying that surcharge, you do wanna start in a country where fuel surcharge is banned and Tokyo, Japan is one of the best places to start. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed that video on the Asia Mile sweet spots starting from the East Coast of Canada. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on a around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.